everybody! Today is Game Day Glam Lesson 2 and like I talked about yesterday, this weekend is National Tailgating Day. Football season's coming up and yesterday I talked about color and I had a lot of questions. Today I'm going to talk about um, how to keep your makeup on all day long on game day, especially when it's hot and when you get sweaty and um, you're outside all day and you really can't touch up your makeup. So we're going to talk about that, but I wanted to answer just a couple questions from yesterday first because a lot of people um, replied and then also private messaged me about what color season am I? And so I wanted to just take a minute to talk about how you can know what your color season is. First off, you need to be swatched and I do have color swatches. I swatch people one-on-one, -on -one, but I also do color swatching at my classes. So that's a great way to learn color analysis and what color season you are in a big group or one-on-one. -on -one. The other thing you can do is you can get a piece of fabric or a piece of clothing from your closet and you can hold up an orange color underneath your chin and then you can hold up a hot pink color and whichever looks best and makes your complexion glow and pop and talk, all those features we talked about yesterday, like the te your teeth looking whiter and your eye, whites of your eyes looking whiter, whichever one looks better is generally speaking, and this is just a general rule, which you are. So if this, this is the warm color, this is obviously not my color because this is orange, but you can do this at home. And then this is pink. So obviously hot pink looks better on me because I'm a cool. The other thing you can think of is what colors am I complimented on? If you get complimented on certain colors all the time, it's usually because that's your color season. So if you get com complimented on red, then you probably are a winter. If you get complimented on royal blue, you're probably a winter. If you get complimented on um, wearing apricots and oranges, then you might be warm. Um, of course, I have to color swatch you to be able to tell for sure. And the last way I wanted to recommend is when you look at your veins in the daylight, if your veins are blue, then generally speaking, you are a cool undertone. If you look at your veins in the daylight and your veins appear to be green, then you are a warm. All right. So those are just some easy ways to know whether you're a cool or a warm. But the best way is to have somebody color match you and color swatch you and, you know, have it at a class or do it one on one. All right. So let's talk today about how to keep your makeup all day. Keep it um, bulletproof all day when you go to the games. The first way is priming. The second way is setting, and the last way is waterproof. Now, waterproof is something that we probably all do already, like we use waterproof liners, we use waterproof mascara, we use those types of things, and that's a, um, a great way to keep your makeup on. But one of the things that is very unknown is primers, and it's such a small little thing that makes such a huge difference when you're putting your makeup on. So I'm going to start with primers, then I'm going to talk about setters, and then, of course, we'll just touch on waterproof. But when you prime your face, one of the first things you need to know about keeping your makeup on is to moisturize. I know this seems really stupid, but a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm oily, or I produce too much oil, or I have a shiny face, so they don't moisturize. But when you moisturize, you actually keep your makeup on better. If you don't moisturize and your face is too dry, your face and your skin go, oh, I'm dry. I'm going to eat my makeup. It's moisturizer. And so that's exactly what happens. So if you have problems with your face, um, in the middle of the day not looking like you even have makeup on you just need to moisturize first and then this is a small step again that makes a huge difference using a face primer a lot of people just slap their foundation on right over their moisturizer and you don't want to do that there's a few reasons that you want to use a primer it creates a barrier between your pores and your fine lines and wrinkles and your makeup it creates just a barrier over your whole face so that your makeup glides over the makeup instead of sinking into the fine lines and wrinkles especially around the eyes where you have large pores around your nose i use even more primer on people that have large pores and so primer is a really 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 important step your makeup will go on much more flawlessly and much more smooth when you use a primer first now tomorrow i'm going to talk about how to create a flawless face but when I do primer, I do let it sit for just a second. I don't just go straight over that with a foundation. I let the primer sit and dry. There's another type of primer you may not have known about, and that is mascara primer. It's basically like conditioner for your lashes, and it keeps your mascara on longer. It actually keeps it from clumping, and it lengthens the um, lashes. It also takes care of the lashes so you don't have as much breakage. So I do use a lash primer, and it looks like this. It's like a conditioner for your lashes. Sorry that I'm so gross, everybody. I just worked out. Um, showering is optional. 
The next time a primer is an eyeshadow primer. This is what it looks like, and you just use a teeny tiny amount. And I'll do a face, I'll do my makeup one a day this week, but use a teeny tiny amount, you use your finger and you put it all over your eyelid. Your eyelids actually sweat a lot and they're quite oily. And and sweat can drip down from your forehead onto your eye makeup and it just totally messes up your eyeshadow. The other thing that happens is, do you ever look in the mirror at yourself and you see where your eyeshadow has creased in your crease and it collects there and it looks ridiculous and it messes up the whole beautiful look that you created? So you definitely wanna use an eyeshadow control cream to keep that from happening. You don't want any creasing, you want everything to stay. The other reason you use an eyeshadow primer is that the color will stay, not only stay better, but it'll go on darker and it'll go on more colorful. So if you are like using a blue color and you use a primer, it actually goes on brighter when you use a primer because it has something to stick to. So moisturize, face primer, mascara primer, eyelid primer, if you like a thicker eyelid primer, I do love Max Paint Pots because they're really super thick and it covers up any hyperpigmentation you have on your lids because you can see, because I don't have any eye makeup on, that it's darker here and so I like the Max because it completely cancels out any color. All right, the second thing we talked about priming the face is setting the face and there's a couple things that I really love to set the face. Setting sprays and translucent powder. So. Setting spray can be used throughout the whole process. You can actually spray your face before you put on your makeup, which I do, and then I put my makeup on, and then after my makeup's on, especially foundation and concealer, I always set using a translucent powder and a sponge. I use pretty much brushes for everything else, but when it comes to highlighting and contouring, which of course I'll show you later in the week, I always set with a sponge and with my translucent powder. And mine is pressed. You can use a loose one if you want to. Then after the whole look is done and, cre and created, I take my setting spray and I spray my face one more time just to seal everything in. The last way that I use my setting spray, and this is great for game days, is I use a lot of um, loose pigment. Now this is Max Loose Pigment. Beauty Control doesn't carry loose pigment. But what you do, loose pigment is basically it's basically sparkles that um, you can dispense right here into the top lid. And what I want to do is give myself a gold eyelid. I would take my brush, I would use my setting spray and just spray my brush, and then I would dip my brush in my product. I do that all the time for eyeshadow because it keeps it on better, and it's great for sparkles because it actually packs it on nicely and the color is much more vibrant. So you can always use setting sprays to um, prime your brushes before you actually put your eyeshadow on. A lot of people have told me they have problems with their eyeliner running, and um, if you have that problem, you can always just go over your eyeliner with some eyeshadow and some setting spray, and that'll solve that. I don't really have that problem because all of our liners are waterproof. All right, so we talked about priming the face with all of the primers, okay? We talked about setting the face with setting sprays and translucent powders and how to use brushes with liquid. The last thing is really probably something you're already doing already, and that is using waterproof products. Waterproof eyeliners, waterproof lip liners, waterproof um, mascara. Now, I don't use waterproof mascara on an everyday basis because it's kind of harmful for your eyelashes and it causes them to break off. And it's really hard to get um, waterproof mascara off. So I do use waterproof products on game day, of course, especially, and waterproof mascara. I just don't use it every single day. So again, if you have questions about your color, you can go back to the beginning of this video and watch some of those um, some of my answers to those questions, but for second segment on game day glam, keeping your makeup on, you definitely want to use primers. If you don't have a primer, I do love Beauty Control's primer, it's $35, but it's something that I don't go without. Then you need setting sprays, and then you want to use waterproof products as well. So um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to do a flawless face. Whenever I'm going out with the girls, or I want to look my best, or I'm getting pictures taken, or I just want to glam it up on gam game day, there's a few things that I do to my face to prep my face for makeup to go on flawlessly. And tomorrow, that is what I'm going to go over. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy today. All right, ladies, have a great Tuesday.